They have been moved from these slums to a place many feel is far worse. Some were evicted from hijacked buildings, while others have been displaced by fires. But there's one common thread. They are all deeply unhappy with their new living arrangements. Amanda Boy illegally lived in this building before it caught fire earlier this month. Seven people died in the place, including her husband. She only learned of his death three days later. Soon thereafter, she was brought here. But Boy says life has been hard and she sometimes goes for days without food and water. As soon as the sun sets, residents in this area set fires, commonly known as Izimbabwe. Here they enjoy conversations, prepare food, and keep warm. And for this brief moment, all their problems forgotten. But with 200 people living on this site, that doesn't last. This Tanzanian man says community leaders are constantly having to intervene to keep the peace. Mandela, remember, he was in jail for 27 years, but you happy because of him. Understand? So me too, I'm trying to make my people happy through Nelson Mandela. It is now one o'clock and only now to decide to go inside the tents because it was actually warmer outside than in these tents. We've only got this blanket and this sponge to take us through the night. As a new day dawns, Residents prepare for work and school. Many of their peers are completely unaware of their daily struggles for survival. Dindogu Johannesburg.